uh, usually end the lecture that present our work with a quote from Johanne Palosma, which says that architecture is about the understanding of the world and uh, changing it into something more meaningful and humane, um, a more meaningful and humane place. Um, so I guess that that's a good summary of what architecture is. But um, when it comes down to it, it's physical surroundings for people, uh, with the focus on people. For me, uh, the architect's role should be to facilitate people's needs for physical surroundings. Um, I guess that's quite general, but um, I think the role of the architect is more than just shape and color and s superficial concepts. There's something more to it in a way. Um, we've been using quite a lot of our time as being guides for people in as of how to to build their houses or their neighborhoods or similar things. And um, more than more than just designing buildings, we actually also do um, just you could call it counseling or dialogue with the clients in in a lot more than just physical structures. I don't think we have a specific focus on innovation ourselves, um, but what we see is that uh, some of the solutions we make, they're very basic, they're very, very basic solutions, low-tech solutions, but still there's some kind of new ideas that we try to apply to every project we have. It's, it's never, we never do the same in a way. We, we quite quickly get bored in, in what we do. So I guess that would be the innovation in us, this restlessness, the need to do something new. I think for us the, the networks are basically the most important feature of our work. We see that uh, without having a connection to the site we're working in, especially in the projects outside of Norway, it's, it's crucial that we have a good network, uh, both in professional, um, a professional world, architects and planners and engineers, but also a social network, because we are foreigners and we need to, we have to go underneath the surface of hello, when, how are you kind of conversations. We need to go deeper than that. And in that sense, networking is super important. And in addition, I also believe that the network of students and architects we have gotten in touch with throughout the last projects um, makes it easier for us to reach further with uh, ideas and also to gain knowledge from the network ourselves too. So it's a, fi it's a fine, um, it's an interesting uh, dialogue in a way inside the network. Um, of course we use the internet for uh, a lot of things. Uh, um, we use quite a lot of time with emails and uh, maintaining uh, maintaining information on the web page and also these social uh, channels like Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. Um, I guess we don't use that directly because we, of course, we first we build and then we uh, publish in a way. So it's internet is not as important as the actual building. So, but of course, the world has changed quite a lot after uh, the introduction of um, this kind of communication. So it's easier to stay in touch with people. It's easier for us to understand the connections between the projects, even if they're thousands of miles apart. Um, but it's just one one of many tools we use. It's, it's not the most important one, but it's not the least important one. First of all, I would recommend any student of architecture to build. That's that's a super important for us. That's been crucial for the way we've developed. But in addition to building, you have to be critical to your own ideas and always try to see if there is ways to do it better. What did we do wrong? What did we do right? And then improve yourself through uh, studying your own work. In addition to other architects' work, of course. But f first, I think it's important to build because architecture in the last state is built structures. Running an architecture company sort of came 
to us. We didn't choose it because the project we did, we did as students in the start. And then when we finished as, as students, we wanted to have a platform to continue doing this. And no company we knew of worked the way we wanted to work. So we had to start our own thing. Um, but it's, it's hard to make a living out of it when you work mostly for clients that don't really have uh, any funding to pay us and uh, uh, also so small projects that it doesn't really, uh, it's not really room for government support and these things because then you have to scale up quite a lot and we're not that interested in that kind of uh, upscaling. We believe in this strategic uh, architecture in a way. Um, but it's worth it in the end of the day so but running a business is a very complex thing and uh, we get quite a lot of uh, applications from students that want to work with us but I don't think they realize how, how boring it is to run a company. It's emails, it's uh, accounting and it's uh, a lot of administrative work and that's not what we present. So there's so much under the surface of the built structures that are quite, they seem quite boring at least from the outside. But it's, it's important, it's part of the work, I guess.